How to Write in the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal. Hi everybody, it's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, with a little tutorial today on the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal. I developed the journal several years ago to give people kind of a template they could follow for every day that they're writing all that they're grateful for. So I'll put a link to purchase the journal in the bottom of this video. You can get it through Amazon. So once you have one, you open it up, you want to put your name and email and phone number on it in case you ever somebody sets it aside or you set it misplace it I should say and I once lost one and I was really upset they last about three or four months there's about 90 entries in any uh, in the book and so first thing you're gonna do is you open it up to the gratitude today on the left and gratitude tomorrow on the right so we start on the left hand side it says day and date so that's pretty simple the day you're writing the date of that there's your daily number off to the right. And what that is, is that's kind of how you're like taking your temperature to see how you're feeling at that moment. 10 is the best, one is the worst. So kind of give yourself a number to represent your attitude or your mood at that moment. And you can do halves too. You could be seven and a half or maybe not so good four and a half or maybe you're doing well as a nine. Whatever that is, put that down. And that's gonna kind of be, again, to establish kind of your mood. Then next, there's two lines that say special events current events and special occasions. And that's just so you don't have to have a diary. So you can write what's going on, called my mom today, talked to one of my kids, whatever it might be, you can put that on those two lines. And then next, there's about five or six lines that say, I am so grateful for, it kind of prompts you. And that's where you're gonna write what you're grateful for. It can be full sentences, it can be bullet points. I tend to write full sentences and try to prioritize it. Start with the things you're the most grateful for and they should be kind of at the top and then work your way on down about how you're feeling about all the things you have to be grateful for and appreciate in your life. Then below that is the highlight of the day. And that is simply the best thing that happened to you yesterday if you write in the morning, or if you write at night, it's the best thing that happened to you that day. Just put that down kind of as your highlight. And then if you want, some people will then, after writing those things down, the things they're grateful for in the highlight of the day, Sometimes people will write another daily number at the bottom because often it's changed and gone up a point or two. So you can certainly do that, write the new daily number at the bottom and put a circle around that. Then on the right hand side is gratitude tomorrow. And that's where you're writing what you're grateful for that hasn't even happened yet. It's called your gratitude intentions. And the thing that's so important about this is your brain, your prefrontal cortex where your subconscious mind is housed cannot distinguish between what it thinks has happened and what actually happens. So you can write, I'm so grateful to get that new job. I'm so grateful to get that great score on that test before it's even happened. And it's amazing how your brain will work towards that. So that's the basic function of the journal. As I say, there's a nice template there. I would say on average, it takes about five minutes, but certainly start out, once you get a gratitude journal, start out by at least trying it for a week and see if you can just, even if you just put bullet points, to kind of develop your gratitude journal muscle, if you will. But it makes such a difference and it can totally shift your mindset to give it you an attitude of gratitude. So, as I mentioned, I'll put a link below this video that you can purchase the journal on Amazon. And good luck with the journal. Certainly please text me or let's make it an email, David at that gratitude guy, if you start to see a lot of changes in your attitude after writing in the gratitude journal. If you want to text me, it's 206-371-8309. But let me know if it's making a difference. It certainly has made a difference in mine. So that's how to write in the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal. Good luck with the journal. And remember, as I always say, remember, be grateful and never quit.